Hello, Terry here, and we're back with Cooking Companion. And yeah, Maria is dead, and I don't think I can save everyone. And we are spiraling downward. But I guess that is fine, right? Yeah, it is fine. What the fuck is happening? So, either way, yeah, enough talk. Let's continue playing the game, shall we? You wake up to see Gregor looking out the window. He turns to you, not smiling. No, Gregor. Take a look out the window. Do you notice anything? Sure. Ah. The flood waters have receded a little bit, but everyone is still bound to the cabin. We still have a little bit of hope. Arnaby, and who's whispering? At least the rain stops. The trail used to be completely visible. It is gone now. Wait, it, you, you said it's receding. So we have hope, you know. Good morning, big guy. Achievement unlocked. Indoors person. Will Maria make it back? Mm-hmm. This might sound a little crazy, but every night around 2 a.m. I can hear her outside. What do you mean? Why is the music so disturbing? I, I do hear sounds outside back then, when I saw outside the window. Uh-huh. She make this awful gurgling noise like she's, she's trying to get water out of her lungs. Oh no. Have you heard her, Gregor? Sometimes when the rain gets faint, I think I can hear her whispering. Yeah? I haven't heard anything like that. Perhaps this involves the meat, isn't it? The two of them feels, uncom feels uncomfortable consuming the meat while you're just normal. When she's whispering, it's like she's trying to tell you something. Right? Uh huh. Gr Gregor? Yes, what do you mean? Hello? I sometimes hear her crying through the radio. You said you didn't hear anything. And the radio? Where did you get that radio? But that's just a broadcast. Right. Good question. And at Holly? I think we should have another piece of meat for breakfast. I don't think so. One step closer to Maria. It's what she would have wanted. No, it isn't. What's gotten into you, Anatoly? Why don't you see yourself in the mirror? Anatoly eyes look at you, begging. Bring us under our slab. No, 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 I don't think so. Please. He clearly doesn't have the stomach for it. I can get the taste out of my mouth. Please help me. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Anatoly. Gregor looks pain at Anatoly's words. I think he's right. No, I don't think so. Please bring us more of that meat. You grab some of the meat from your secret hiding place. Freak you! You cut it into squares, adding it to the boiling cauldron water. It will taste bland without any seasoning, but you need to serve it up right away. Indeed. What's taking so long? Boil it faster, bitch. Fisic. <laughs> Psychic or Fisic? Fisic. It looks almost done. Patience. Yes, patience. It's finally finished. Mm -hmm. You serve the meat in balls. Ah, time to eat in the table again, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Gregor drinks the broth first before swallowing the chunks whole. Yes, interesting. 
like a dark dust when eating bread. Anatoly creates ripples in the broth using the spoon. He isn't eating. I'm sorry about earlier, everyone. I... I don't know what overtook me. We are all should look in the mirror, you know. Ma ma Maria. Anatoly begins to weep. Yes, indeed. You look over at Karim. You didn't notice her even start to eat. There's just an empty bowl now. Indeed. Now have all of you feel full? I bet you doesn't. Karin is staring right at you. Yes, what is it? How much more meat is left? Not much. You explain how most of it has gone bad. Yes, why? You said you properly stored it. This is the last of it. Yes, indeed. How could you be so careless again? Indeed. You remember Karin's knife? You need to think fast. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Wait around again? This storm is an ending. Hmm, indeed. You clear your throat. Anat Holly? Yes. Mm hmm. I think tomorrow you should look for Maria. No. Or forage for plants outside. Yes. I. I think you should go tomorrow, little guy. Nobody else can identify edible plants like you, Gregor. You, you're just sacrificing him, okay? I, I... Please, Anatoly. You can swim back after a few hours. Gregor is right, Anatoly. Maybe you'll find Maria out there. I think Maria's fine by herself. He still hasn't accepted what happened yet. She doesn't need anyone's help. But we need your help, Anatoly. That's right, Anatoly. Please help us. Let, let me sleep on it. Okay? Sure. No problem, little guy. Mm-hmm. Will we see you tomorrow again? Everyone shuffles off to their rooms, reading books and knitting to pass the time. You go to bed, Ravenous. Hello, Maria. I don't know what are you whispering about, but okay. Something is approaching. Onion. Hey, Onion! What should I do, little Onion? Oh, don't be a crybaby. It's just me. I know it's just you. It's just I don't know what else to do here. Onion. Mm hmm. Not going to be very sweet today. I'm worried about Anatoly. He's going to cave to peer pressure. Yes. Can you stop him from leaving the cabin? You don't answer Onion. Please. Don't you trust me? You shake your head. Um, Got a fun factoid for you. Did you know that living out an unpeeled onion in your room absorbs bacteria? Oh, that's a nice thing to know. Except you need a lot lots of onion for that. It will help prevent colds and ward off viruses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a lie, okay. The fun fact of that myth, people actually believe it in the 19... Wait, no. 
in the five hundreds. How embarrassing. Who would believe that? Me, actually, just believe that. <laughs> mm hmm. There even was a doctor in 1919 who caused a surge of people belie believing it. Mm hmm. Anyways. You know what smells like a raw onion left in the room? Oh. What is it? <laughs> Freak you. <laughs> It's been a while since you last your last bath, right? But yeah, this is. I love this interaction because it's just cheering me up after the whole event. You can remember. Could smell you before I even came into the room. Yikes! Yes. So can you stop Anatoly from leaving? I don't think our current main character can do that. I know he has a cabin fever, but this is ridiculous. It will be impossible to stop a grown man from leaving, no. You did not try to stop him, you tried to push him out. Please. We don't need another one stalking the hallways. Tapping on the windows. Crying through the radio. You have the sudden urge to scream. Yes, indeed. Why do you think I've been using the mouse, mouse holes to get around? You're afraid, aren't you? Scared to death that I will run to her. Me too. Me too, Onion. Don't make me tattle to cabbage about you. She can be as mean as potato if you get on her bad side. Yes, indeed. Just kidding, she's great. No, no, I, I really know you mean it. Anyways, when the time comes, just tell Anatoly you care about him and don't want him to leave. So the good ending is to make everyone feels loved. Okay, we just we just need to max out all the hearts later on. Even if it is for me, okay? You can trust me. Yes, indeed. Now if you excuse me, I need to work on some new ice skates. They are made of butter slice, so I'll get to skate around the frying pan tomorrow. Oh nice! Later, later onion, lovey. Aww. What have you unleashed in this hallway? Your mind finally managed to forget everything that happened. You fall asleep against your revenues. Day 10 You have a strange dream. A fox is collecting payment in your living room. You despise him so you put two dogs at the bottom of a sack, then add six chicken on top. The fox smiles at you and leaves. At some point in his journey, the fox will eventually open the sack, and the dogs tear the fox in half. Filled with such loading for the fox, you gave, him, you gave him the only things you had for food. All of those chickens, you stupid freak. As the snow piles up outside, you begin to eat whatever you can find. Pillowcases, candles, leather. One day you wake up and, not, and you have nothing left to eat. Absolutely nothing. Just an insatiable hunger. A few days later, you get mad and leave the cabin, completely ravenous. A nearby tree looks like charred meat. Your iron teeth cut, cut through the tree bark, tearing your gums, gums apart by the splinters. Your mouth fills quickly with blood. Days later, a deer gallops by. The first creature in the woods to see your corpse. You wake in a cold sweat. Indeed. Hello everyone. Gregor? Something smells terrible in the living room. Someone puke in a corner. Mm-hmm. You wipe it out with a with a rag to save them embar them the embarrassment. Well, it's kinda of strange that you didn't wake people up, Gregor. Good morning. Yes. 
Good morning, little guy. Well, Anat Holly, what is your decision? Mm hmm. I'm surprised you all haven't done anything to him yet. I barely slept last night. Her whisper came through one of the holes in the floor. She kept telling me to come outside. Mm hmm. Hmm. We don't want to rush you. But one of us puked last night. Oh, you noticed? So, that's what that smell was? Anatoly? My patient is wearing thin. What do you mean, Karin? You have one hour to make a decision. Oh, it isn't a decision then. Why, why so quickly? You're hungry, isn't it? Because I'm not waiting any longer. Ah, you even have a drool on you. You can see the glints of Karin's knife under her dress. Wait, where? Can we? No? Okay, I actually don't see it at all. Oh, no. Or maybe I'm just... I don't know. Best, best to watch out for that knife. Yes, indeed. The group dispersed tension seems to be rising. You have one hour to kill, what do you want to do? <laughs> one hour to kill, that's, that's a good pun. Talk with the trumpeties. So in order to save them all, we need to go through this order. We need to increase Maria's heart first, and then Anatoly, and then Gregor, I guess, or Karin. Or in reverse, like that order. Let's talk with the trumpeties. Ah, none of the fun chumpies are around. What is that sound? They are afraid of something worse. Thankfully, Potato has kept hidden this entire time. Hello, Potato. And nothing can we call our own but death. And that small model of the barren earth. Which serves as space and cover for our bones. Yes, indeed. I love how you can feel, hear a small breathing sound, like in the left. Oh, sorry, didn't see you creeping up behind me. Okay. I was reciting my favorite line from William Shakespeare. You're looking awfully cheerful. Do you know which play it was from? No, I doesn't. I don't know. It wasn't the one with the weird sisters. You take a wild guess. That's right. The life and death of King Richard II. Before I came to this cabin, I used to read all of the classics. Oh, that's so wonderful. Why did I stop? I can turn the bait with just my tongue. <laughs> then how did you do that back then? Hell, I can even notch a book off the bookshelf. Mm-hmm. Pathetic right. No, 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 you're awesome. You're not. Yeah. I've been watching your progress so far. And I must say, very strange choices. Even for someone like you. I've wondered why you are so accommodating for these four. Pity I didn't receive the same treatment. Oh well. Excuse my rambling. Are you here for another survival lesson? Sure. You shrug. Excellent. No shame in preparing for the absolute worst. Mm hmm. 36 hours have passed, you have no food. Yes. What happens? For starters, your brain stops, cra cra stops craving glucose. But there's a good reason for that. Your guts have begun shrinking, and your liver have transformed fatty acids into chemical compounds called ketone bodies. Yeah, but the problem is, we keep eating. Mm-hmm. Have I lost you already? There's a book on a bookshelf that can explain all of this. Anyways, ketone bodies mimic glucose for the brain and provide about two per third of the energy needed to function. Sounds pretty great, right? 
Oh, my sweet summer child. Using ketone bodies gradually acidifies your blood, which can lead to ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis is common in diabetics. But how do you know if you have ketoacidosis? Ketoacidosis, sorry. Well, a large amount of acetone is released in your ure urine and respiratory system. Your breath will smell something like fingernail polish, which smells like... Mm -hmm. I can remember, no one knows to smell now. So you are used not to be a potato, but looking at your face, I bet your breath smells much worse. If only the Chambidis had something nice to say about you. No, there's nothing to say about you, you... You villain. Here, I have another recipe card. You unlock potatoes recipe. What is it? Potato? I kinda wonder what is it. Ah, this must be the recipe. Slaughter stew. Two arms separated at the shoulder, two legs separated near the hip, one cauldron of water. Slowly boils the arm and legs in the cauldron until skin begins to separate from flesh. Remove skin and attempt to remove flesh from bones. Discard skin and bones or give to an animal. Cut flesh into one inch cubes. Add flesh to cauldron, stirring occasionally for eight hours, adding pepper and salt as needed. Fascinating. Thank you for the recipe, potato. I personally wouldn't make it. But you. Hmm. You have a taste for things like this. Don't you? Oh. You don't argue. Mm hmm. Let's talk again, shall we? I won't be living here. Far too dangerous to go exploring right now. You shut the door and call everyone together for a meeting. Far too dangerous indeed. Hello. Anatoly, you okay, little guy? Anatoly looks pale like he's going to pass out. Gregor, you... Just shut your fake... fake concern. Anatoly, have you made a decision? Yes. I'll help you all out. I promise. Indeed. Thank you, Anatoly. Big tears roll down Gregor's cheeks. Uh, I'll miss you, big guy. I'll miss you, little guy. Hmm, we still don't know what happens to the squirrel, though. Thank you, Anatoly. I know this wasn't easy, but it's for the best. Really? Karin? Yes? I... Gregor looks at you expectantly. Mm-hmm. Did you want to say anything to Anatoly? You say nothing. Uh, I... Goodbye, Anatoly. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck, little guy. Anatoly has left the cabin. See you soon, little guy. What do you mean? Indeed. I guess all we can do now is wait. Good night. Good night, Karin. Karin goes to the bedroom to sleep. I... I didn't tell him the truth. Gregor is getting choked up. I didn't tell him. Missing him already. What's the truth? Gregor crawls up on the couch for the night, turning his back to you. What do you mean by the truth, Gregor? You shut your eyes quickly, falling asleep. Hello? You hear a scraping from the floor. 
The Chambres? Or what is it? Hello. Found you, Brad. Nice. Oh, Brad's so lovely. Explain how this isn't a good time right now. It always is a good time. This is no loving matter. I'm worried about Gregor. He's as tall as a tree, but as, a d but as dumb as a brick. What's the root of that? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Another cornbread, cornbread classic. You're being very unpopular right now. Okay. That's a tree reference. Get it. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, popular tree. Okay, I get it. Anyways, you need to protect Gregor from the red haired woman. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so it is Gregor next. Cabbage called an emergency chambery meeting and told me to give you the, this mission. Watch out for that knife and protect Gregor at all cost. Understood. I understand, but this one just cannot help it. Yes, you know. Not. It's the yeast you can do, right? You tell Brad that pun didn't make sense. That makes sense! <laughs> On a roll today, I'll see you around. See you around. Brad hops away, squeezing himself through the mouse hole with a small pop. You fall asleep, thinking about what Brad told you. Indeed. You have a strange dream. It is lying on the table in front of you. You take off the glasses first, partially crack and set them down next to the workbench. No, not wholly. Working the saw, you wrap the cuts in an old newspaper. Some of it gets soggy immediately, so you begin drying the cuts with a towel before wrapping. Much better. You hear something approaching, so you clench your fist and get ready to strike whatever comes for you. You wake in a cold sweat. Day 11 This is your own undoing. Hello. We just wake up in the kitchen, that's lovely. So yeah. As usual, I have to end the episode right here. So I guess that's all for a cooking companion. I hope you enjoy it. Nothing strange here, right? See you later then in the next episode. Bye-bye.